Today we are in the second lecture of Power BI. Uh, we will open the Power BI application by double clicking on it. And today we will uh, discuss how we can import data, how we can use CSV file, or how we can use uh, most importantly Excel file with the Power BI desktop application. So uh, let me start Power BI and I will provide the Excel data sets from which we can start working. So the Power BI desktop application is opening and in the meantime I will guide you how to open the Excel sheets, how to download the data sets. So I am going on GitHub. I will post the link of my GitHub uh, at the bottom of the video. So github.com slash Sayyid Umad Ahmed. And in this GitHub repository of mine, you will click on this second button that is the repository button. And in the repositories, you will search or you will find at the top Power BI datasets for analysis and visualization. I will click on it and after clicking on it you can see this green button I will click on this green button there is an option known as download zip I will click on this download zip button these are two excel files number one is here and the number two is here so I will use this second file and you can see the zip version of my files has been downloaded so I am opening it so you can see there is a zip version let me open the download folder uh, the file has been downloaded and the power bi has already been set up so in the download folder you can see here it is written power bi data sets so i will click on extract here or we can simply unzip the file in the power bi data sets you can see here is the extension xlx means these are two excel files these are my own provided excel files for your practice and we will start working with this file okay this is an excel file but before opening this file uh, we will uh, go with power bi and we will import this file inside the power bi so it is in downloads and my folder is P power bi data sets so i will close it and this is uh, we uh, the power bi desktop software we will close this pop-up and after closing this pop-up uh, the main motive of today's tutorial is all about importing data so you can see uh, there is a bar and we will work on this bar in this tutorial but before working on this i will click on this get data and in the get data option at the top window at the top bar you can find excel workbook power bi data sets so today we are working with excel workbook as we have already downloaded it from my github so i will click on excel workbook and in the excel i have to search for the excel workbook i will go to the downloads folder and I already know that my excel workbook is saved in the downloads folder and in the downloads you can see power bi super store sales this is the excel file uh, so I will click on it and click open so I have opened uh, the excel file in power bi and you can see uh, it is making a connection uh, with my power bi software so let us wait and when this file is imported I can see on the right window of this desktop uh, yes here is the pop-up and in this pop-up my file is loaded by Power BI so we will uh, wait for a little bit till it get loaded perfectly and I can see it is it has been loaded perfectly now I can click on sheet 1 sheet 1 is the excel file the sheet 1 is the sheet inside my excel file I will click on it and when I click on it it has shown me the preview so it is showing the raw ID shipping date uh, the ship mode the segment country postal code it is the data of sales of something okay so I will check mark this sheet and after checking mark 
the sheet clicking on this small check box I will click on the load button and when I click on the load button the data is loaded okay so it is loading the data and it is showing the pop-up of uh, pending changes I don't want to apply any changes so I will uh, wait till the sheet gets loaded and this yellow warning I will close it so I am waiting uh, for the Power BI desktop application to load my data so all the rows are loaded now I will wait it will show me the pop-up on the right hand side so the sheet has been loaded you can see on the right hand side there is a sheet button I will click on this arrow and you can see there are all the things on display so those things which have this sign this is the sigma sign sigma sign represents those all these values which consist of sigma in front of them means all of these are numerical values and those uh, categories which have written uh, with a small calendar you can say it without opening it that this is the date column of excel file so power bi is intelligent by some it is showing that these are numerical values means one two three and by showing the calendar it is showing that these are the values of date and these values which are without any calendar without any sigma means that these things are string variables so let me start working on it and uh, I have selected the report option okay and uh, now what is my task now I will start working on Power BI with my file first of all in this visualizations tab I want to select some bar chart so there are uh, different types of chart available so I will select some bar chart okay that is the simplest chart I can say so I will click on this so I have clicked on the bar chart and you can see this bar chart is empty now what I will do there is a sales column okay so I will click on this sales column or I can click and hold it and take it to here so it will automatically start showing the sales of all my excel file the sales column is represented directly so I can uh, increase the size or decrease the size of this bar chart what I have done or I have clicked it or I have picked it and placed it here inside the box now I want something more to be added in this bar chart what I am doing you can see I am clicking on this product ID when I click on this product ID the sales chart consists of one more entry so let me click on it I am clicking on the product ID okay I have clicked on the product ID now you can see we have the sales but the product ID is also present uh, below each of the sales values so this is the very basic uh, visualization I want to show you and now I want to help you or tell you about more things that you can apply to this sales chart we will click on the format button okay and this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis so on the x-axis you can find the values I can increase the size you can see after clicking on format button I can change the tags I can change the visualization I, I can bold all of the product IDs so it's totally upon my choice if I want to change the color I want to change the color of product IDs as well if I want to change the maximum area height so I can also change them as well so it's all about uh, me and concatenate labels I want the labels to mix with each other I will do it off or I will do it on it's upon myself there is a title option 
if we want to off the title you can see uh, the title will be removed but if I click on on you can see it is written product ID okay so if we want to increase the title size we can increase it or we can go on y axis in the y axis you can see the things and you can change apply minimum and maximum range on the axis as well you can go toward the values or on the y axis you can increase the size of values if you want to do it or you can decrease the size of values according to your choice so the y axis is also in our control and we can uh, change the values okay x axis y axis decimal places okay so we can also see uh, grid lines or we can also add the zoom slider zoom slider means you want to uh, visualize it by changing the values from here and there you can change the value or if you increase the price the bar graph will uh, change in auto uh, change in uh, auto mode okay so you can also click on data labels if you click on data labels you can see uh, there is a data label on each of the uh, chart each of the setting of the bar chart and you can apply to specific data labels as well uh, if you click on all it will show labels on all of the data set okay. so we will click on the values and we can increase the size of the values as well we are on the data labels if you want to decrease the size we can decrease the size as well if you want to change uh, the color you can change the color as well there is another option plot area background so it is image fit is normal you can change it according to your wish also if they are you can uh, place this value inside their bar graph or you can uh, make it transparent according to your wish let me uh, show you something different so data labels I will off the data labels means all the data labels will be disappeared if I get on it will be on okay so there are different settings you can apply according to your wish and this is the data label I am getting it off and so there are a call up option if you want this bar graph color to be different like purple you can change it according to your wish you can change the y axis you can change the x axis so these are visual settings and in the general option you can change the title or you can change the title size you can see sales by product id this title is increasing you can change the color or you can change the alignment you can change the background you can put it in the center so there are hundreds of options uh, you can apply you can apply the text wrap whether it will the text will increase it will automatically adjust it by itself so this is the title option you can add the effects option there are the different properties available so if you want to increase the width of the graph you can increase it by here or you can increase it by this side button so there are a lot of uh, customizations available so I have shown you a little customizations and if uh, someone uh, wants to search for the customizations here so you can search it here as well but please remember if you want to format just click on the format if you uh, want to format your visualization first you have to click here okay and uh, after doing the things like these uh, bar chart and formatting if you want to save your project this is the very important part you want to click on the save and inside the save option inside the downloads folder you can select any of the name I suggest you to make a folder in your C or D drive and save your power BI files there so I am saving my file as practice and dot pbix is the extension it will take it automatically and I am saving it so this is the simple option of saving your uh, report or saving your visualization charts let us proceed with it in the next time we will uh, add more of the columns and we will discuss more of the things related to power bi thank you